Can a hybrid welder cutter do either of those things well? Can a built-in air compressor push enough plasma to cut a half-inch plate? In the last video, the DC TIG mode passed with flying colors, but now I'm going to plug it into 110 and with no external air compressor, see just how much cut mode can handle. When it's plugged into 110 power source, it maxes out at 25 amps. First, I cut some 12 gauge and that was no problem. I did leave these clips in real time so you get a good idea how it cuts. Next, I cut some quarter inch flat bar. We got some slag, but it did cut it no problem. And I did burn up a few tips as I was pushing the limits of the machine, so I would recommend buying a consumable kit separate. They are on the website. Now I'm cutting some rusty painted 3 8 angle and I'm still using the internal compressor with 110 power as I cut half inch carbon steel plate. It was a slow process but I really wanted to test the limits of the machine so I finally plugged it into 240 and busted through some half inch a little quicker but for best results on the thick stuff you're going to want to plug in your external air compressor. I fired up the Eastwood scroll compressor and cut that half inch again. Well, I can't complain because the rest of my TIG welders don't cut anything so this machine is going to be my go-to shop TIG welder plasma cutter. Unless I need to cut something 3 8 or thicker, then I'll probably bust out the hypertherm. And for good measure, I gnawed at some 3 quarter inch plates. Their website's linked in my bio. If you are interested in buying anything, use code BLUECOLLARDREW at checkout for 10% off.